For those of you, I mean, first, my name is Ziad Abdelnour. I'm president and CEO of Black Hawk Partners, and I'm founder and chairman of the Financial Policy Council. We started this, for, for, for those of you who don't know about the Financial Policy Council, we are four years old. We are a nonprofit, 501c3 organization focusing exclusively on uh, financial, fiscal policy, economic policy issues. Basically, what hurts your pocket. We're not a political organization. We're neither Republican nor Democrat. We are problem solvers. We are capitalists. We are wealth creators. We are people who love this country and all what it brings. So we're here to provide solutions and to brainstorm with uh, the movies and shakers out there, both from academia, from the political world, from Wall Street, as to what can we do to better society, to better human beings, to empower people, and to create wealth. At the end of the day, whether you like it or not, it's all about wealth creation. The only way you can be free, independent, is by making money for yourself. Nobody, nobody cares about you. Nobody will ever care about you but yourself. So the biggest revenge is wealth creation. That's my mantra. That's the Flash Policy Council mantra. This is our mandate. We're not running for any office. The problem today we have is that we have a lot of, well, a lot of bashers, a lot of people who are bitching about this and bitching about that. Not enough people providing real, tangible solutions to the problems, whether Democrats or Republicans. We're here to change that. We hope one day to become a force that is reckoned and an authority on the subject matter. First, I'd like to thank all the board members of the National Policy Council who've been absolutely instrumental in uh, moving this organization forward. Uh, board members, please stand up for a big applause. I'd like to, to thank also CE Solutions, our video guru out there, who's been taking uh, videos of all of our events, the last 23 events. You can, by the way, check out the website, transpolicycouncil.org, and you'll see all of our events out there. Our blogs, our articles, our research, our proprietary research, our events, everything. Our topic this evening, will revolve around the murder of the middle class, how to save yourself and your family from the criminal conspiracy of the century. I like these words. Wayne Root does not mince his words. He says it like it is. And frankly, every speaker we had so far is a maverick. And this is the kind of people we like to invite, we like to empower, we like to push forward because these are the people who change the world, and that's what we're interested in. We have a limited time on this earth, and our job is to create wealth and change the world. There is an economic warfare out there. It's between big brother, government, and the wealth creators, wealth takers and wealth creators. We've got to prevail. Government has a role, however, there is a limit to what people can do when you start infringing on people's uh, freedoms and privacy and ways of creating wealth, uh, enough is enough. Who is Wayne Allen Root? A lot of you have already seen him on TV, on radio, have read his blogs, have read his previous books. 
He's been branded by media across the globe as the capitalist evangelist. He's a former libertarian vice presidential nominee, Fox News regular, best-selling author, champion of small business, and crusader for the middle class. I don't know how many of you here are from the middle class. I'm sure some are. His book last year, The Ultimate o Obama Survival Guide, hit number one in bookstores, number one in categories at Amazon, and was a top five bestseller for 10 consecutive weeks. His new blockbuster book, which came out only three days ago, on July 14, The Murder of the Middle Class, uh, you know, so he just started his national tour in New York City live on Fox News. You know, I don't want to steal the thunder here. Wayne is a friend. He says what he means. He's a wealth creator himself, too. Uh, he's the executive chairman of a Washington super PAC. He's off the 1%, but he cares and feels and knows what the other 99% want. You know what? I mean, at the end of the day, it's not just making money. It's caring about people. It's empowering people. Uh, I don't want to say more. Thank you very much for coming, Wayne Alarut. Thank you. Thank you, Zian. <clears throat> Hi, everyone. How are you? <clears throat> Let me tell you a couple things about myself so you get an idea of where I stand in life. <clears throat> Number one, Ziad mentioned I'm a capitalist evangelist, and I am. Uh, Ziad mentioned I'm in the 1%. Well, I'm definitely at the bottom of the 1%, but working hard every day to get towards the top. Uh, I'm an SOB, son of a butcher, and always will be. And no matter what happens, no matter how much money I make, I will always be the son of a butcher and the grandson of a butcher and a second generation American. I think like middle class sons of butchers and butchers. Uh, I'm also the founder of AARP. Americans Against Rotten Politicians. I think that's probably my proudest title. I'm a homeschool dad. You know, I'm a maverick and, as Ziad said, a maverick and a contrarian and someone who realized that you have to have an alternative way to educate your children, whether it's charter school, whether it's private school, whether it's homeschool, whether it's Catholic school, parochial school, whatever it may be. Try something different. And so my family, my wife and I, decided to do homeschooling and uh, I might have the best homeschool story in the history of America. My daughter is 22 years old and just graduated one month ago, magna cum laude from Harvard University. She attended Oxford, thank you. She attended Oxford University for a junior year, got straight A's and won the award for being a top of class of Oxford, magna cum laude, Harvard, and then last week, uh, we just found out she was accepted for her master's degree at Cambridge University. All without ever being in a classroom in her entire life until she was 18 years old. So it's quite an amazing story, and it happened in Las Vegas, where we have arguably the worst public schools in the United States of America, where 40% of the kids drop out, and the other 60% are pushed forward just so they could say they graduated. And the reason you know that is true is because if you look at the record uh, in Las Vegas, the kids who go to community college need remedial reading and remedial math just to start their freshman year at community college. So what did they learn in high school? The answer is nothing. My daughter educated in the exact same place, homeschooled, Harvard, Oxford, Cambridge. So nice thing. Um, I think it's important that I'm from Las Vegas. Uh, Las Vegas is a place where we have zero state income taxes, zero business taxes, uh, among the lowest property taxes in the United States, zero state capital gains taxes, zero inheritance taxes. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'll tell you what the difference is between Vegas and Washington, D.C. In Vegas, the drunks gamble with their own money. <laughs> and I want to tell you a quick joke that gives you an idea of how I feel about government. I'm not a big fan of government. So a guy is sitting, uh, or I should say lying in his deathbed in a hospital room, and his wife.